There's one part of reef tanks that almost everyone underestimates, it's mechanical filtration. We spend a lot of time talking about lighting, flow, and biological filtration, but how you physically remove waste from the water plays a huge role in nutrient control, algae prevention, and overall tank stability. So today, we're going to break down mechanical filtration in a simple, good, better, best format, covering what works, what works better, and what gives you the most consistency, the least amount of effort. Let's get started. Good. Filter socks are the most common form of mechanical filtration in reef tanks. They work by physically trapping uneaten food, fish waste, and other suspended particles as water flows through them, preventing that material from circulating through the system. They come in a wide range of sizes, generally from 4 to 7 inches in diameter, with different lengths and micron ratings, and are typically available in felt or mesh. Most reef tanks ship with some form of filter sock, regardless of brand, because the concept is simple and effective. To give a solid example of what a quality filter sock looks like, these bulk reef supply felt and mesh filter socks are a great reference point. They're well made, available in common sizes, and represent exactly what reefers should expect from a reliable sock. Filter socks are also somewhat versatile. You can drop mesh bags of media like carbon or GFO directly into them, allowing a single sock to handle both mechanical filtration and some lighter media containment. The trade-off is maintenance. Filter socks need to be changed frequently, and if they're left too long, trapped food and fish waste begin to decompose. That breakdown leads to rising nutrients and algae issues, and cleaning socks is messy and time-consuming enough that it's really easy to start putting it off. Filter socks absolutely work, but only if you stay consistent with maintenance. Better. Filter cups take the basic idea of filter socks and make it far more user-friendly and flexible for day-to-day -day reef keeping. Just like socks, they mechanically filter the water by forcing it through a defined path where suspended waste is physically trapped before it can circulate through the system. Instead of dealing with fabric that has to be removed, washed, and dried, you're working with a semi-rigid cup designed to sit right in your tank's filter sock holder. These cups can hold filter pads, mesh media bags, or a combination of both, giving you a lot of control over how you approach your tank's mechanical filtration. Options like this from Filter Media Cup are available in multiple sizes to fit common sock holders, making them an easy drop-in upgrade for many systems. One of the biggest advantages here is how quick maintenance becomes. Swapping out a dirty filter pad or changing carbon takes seconds, and when it's time to clean the cup, a quick rinse is usually all it needs. Compared to washing filter socks, it's cleaner, faster, and far less of a hassle. That ease of use matters because it directly affects how often maintenance actually gets done. When filtration is easy to service, reefers are far more likely to stay consistent, which means less trap waste breaking down in the system and fewer nutrient-related surprises. That said, filter cups are still a manual solution. If a filter pad is left in place too long, it will collect and hold waste just like a sock. Over time, that organic material will break down and contribute to elevated nutrients. So while filter cups are a clear step up in convenience and flexibility, they still rely on the reefer staying on top of routine maintenance. Best. If you're looking for the most effective and hands-off mechanical filtration available today, automatic fleece rollers are absolutely the best of the best. Unlike filter socks or cups that rely on you to manually swap or clean them, fleece rollers work continuously in the background. As water passes through the fleece, fish waste, detritus, and uneaten food are physically removed from the system before they ever have a chance to break down. When that fleece begins to clog, the unit automatically advances clean material, keeping filtration efficient without intervention for up to several months in some cases. For a long time, this type of filtration was mostly reserved for large, high-end reef systems, but that's no longer the case. Today, options like the AquaReady AF1 bring automatic fleece filtration to traditional sump-based reefs, while solutions like the Nature Dimensions and Clear Nano, which fits a wide variety of nano all-in-one tanks. Not to mention that Red Seas Nanomat make it possible to run an automatic fleece roller on any system that accepts a four-inch filter sock. The biggest advantage here is consistency. By removing waste automatically and predictably, fleece rollers help smooth out nutrient sweeps, keep sumps and filtration chambers noticeably cleaner, and reduce the buildup of detritus throughout the system. Just as importantly, they eliminate one of the most common failure points in reef keeping, forgetting to change mechanical filtration on time. Once you experience that level of automation and stability, it's very hard to imagine going back to socks or cups. When it comes to mechanical filtration, there's no single right answer, only the right choice for your tank and your lifestyle. 
The real difference between these options isn't effectiveness, it's how much effort they require from you. The easier the system is to maintain, the more consistent it becomes, and consistency is what keeps your tank stable and problems at bay. Because at the end of the day, the best filtration system isn't just the one that works, it's the one that actually gets maintained.